Okay, max power. <laughs> okay, so 448 horsepower at the wheels, almost uh, 450 for all intents and purposes. This vehicle uh, behind me here is a 2011 Dodge Charger with a 3.6 liter Pentastar, otherwise stock. So that means the vehicle has stock cats, stock exhaust, stock gearing, stock tire, pretty much uh, as you would buy it right from the dealer. The vehicle itself has about 27,000 miles on it. It is a driver for the client, not much, but we are in New York City, so the miles aren't that high, but it is used on a daily basis. Uh, so uh, I ran that car in an automatic mode. I actually sh shifted it um, manually. So 230 horsepower to 240 horsepower is what these cars come in at. They're rated at the factory something like 300, so 298, 300 at the crank. These vehicles pretty much put out a 15% drivetrain loss, which is what we see across the industry, which means you have 15% less horsepower than what they advertise at the crank. So those of you who think these vehicles have 300 horsepower, they actually have about 230 to 240 at the rear wheel, which is what we're representing here. That would put this vehicle at 500 crank and 450 uh, at the wheel. This vehicle also made a solid four, uh, 400 pounds of torque and it maintained that. Now vehicles like this, which are automatic, need to be run a little bit higher in the RPN range because of the torque converter, uh, converter lockup. That means I need to rev the engine up and start the pass later in the RPMs. If these vehicles were stick, which these vehicles do not come in, uh, I, I would be able to run the vehicle from let's say 1000 RPM all the way up to redline. So that being said, this is the world's first RIP supercharged charger with a Pentastar in it. Uh, it's not our first go around with a V6 Pentastar. These vehicles, uh, these ve this engine is also found in our lineup, uh, the Wrangler lineup, which we've sold over 5,000 kits on. Now we were the first people in the world to supercharge a Pentastar, so we know our way around them. We're very comfortable with the horsepower that we're showing here. So essentially, we're quite proud of 450 horsepower at the wheels and uh, 400 pounds of torque. Can't wait to get it out there. Thanks, guys.